Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So the Insta360 Ace Pro has just recently been launched. Now I've already done a full review on it, but in this video I want to focus on the low light capabilities of the Ace Pro because it's quite drastic compared to what's currently on the market. Now I've included some of this comparison footage in my full review, but I thought I'd make a separate video for those who don't want to watch a full review and are just curious about the low light capabilities. Now in general, these action cameras have never done super well in low light scenarios. In order for the electronic image stabilization to work, you have to have good lighting, a nice fast shutter speed. And if you don't have good lighting, you start getting a lot of smearing and blurring of the images and the stabilization just falls right apart. But that's not the case with the Ace Pro. Now the Action 4 does perform better in low light than the Hero 12 Black. And although the sensor size of the Osmo Action 4 and the Ace Pro are the same, due to the 5 nanometer chip that's in the Ace Pro, it can process that low light footage in real time whereas the Action 4 and the GoPro 12 just are not capable of that, and that makes all the difference. So let's go ahead here and we're gonna take a look at some comparison footage. I'm going to do the Hero 12 Black first. We're gonna do side-by-side -side of the Ace and the Hero 12, and then afterwards I'll do side-by-side -side of the Ace and the Action 4. Now, just to let you know, none of this footage has been edited in any way. It's straight raw right off the camera. All settings are in auto. The only difference is with the Ace Pro, we're gonna be using their pure shot video mode, which is their low light mode. The Hero 12 Black doesn't really have that type of mode. With the Action 4, we will be using their low light settings. It will automatically turn on when the ambient light is too low. So with all that said, let's just play the footage. <laughs> So as you can see there, there was a night and day difference of the Ace Pro against the Hero 12 Black. The Hero 12 Black, you got a lot of blurring and it was just not very bright and the stabilization was just atrocious. So now we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Insta360 Ace Pro against the DJI Osmo Action 4. <laughs>
So as you can see there, the Osmo Action 4 did perform better than the GoPro Hero 12 Black, but nowhere as near as good as the Insta360 Ace Pro. So there you go folks, a low light comparison of the Insta360 Ace Pro against the Osmo Action 4 and the GoPro Hero 12 Black. If capturing in low light scenarios is important to you, definitely the Ace Pro is the camera that you want to choose. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, it's always greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one.